Hi everyone, this is Pat. In the message that I have for you tonight, I have entitled, A Man Named Niger. The Bible verse is Acts chapter 13, verse 1, and it reads, Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manian, a lifelong friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. Dear Father God, it's um, nice to read again um, the story of the early church, and um, it was particularly um, connecting to me um, in that it got me thinking a lot about um, um, issues of race and color and things like that, but to also think about how uh, wonderful you are in that you choose people of all walks of life, all colors, all ages, um, you do it, Lord, and I'm grateful for that. Thank you for your word, Lord. It is so cleansing, and um, it helps me so much. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray. Amen. Um, I remember when I was uh, first reading through the Bible, it helped me um, so much because it was so many issues that the devil could, you know, camp on in terms of um, getting me feeling like, um, why would God want to use me or how could God use me? If I went by the world standards, then it would make no sense, but... Thank the Lord that his standards are amazing. And I'm grateful that the Bible teaches me about his standards. In the book of Acts chapter 13, uh, we are told that there were prophets and teachers in the church in Antioch. And um, Antioch, as I could see on a map, looks about 300 miles north of Jerusalem. And um, this means that these men in this church were, were mature in their faith and they knew the Word of God and they had the skill to teach it um, to people. Um, but they mentioned that one of the men's name was called Niger and in the um, footnote it lets us know that Niger means black or dark. And when I was doing my Bible immersion, of course, that was one thing that caught my eye because I am black. Uh, most of the time, I do not think about being a black woman who has been chosen to teach the Word of God. But sometimes being black and being a woman seems to matter a lot to some people. But whatever, this I know is true. It doesn't matter to God. He knows my heart, and I have been given to Him. He is my Lord. He is my Savior. In um, John chapter 1, at the beginning, it speaks about Jesus. And it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. God made everything about me. He knows everything about me. Uh, he wants to use me to reach many. And I want to be used in this way too. And um, so my um, prayer is this. Um... Dear Father, the devil will try many things to keep me running in place, so I must set my face like a flint to make certain that this doesn't happen. In this very day, in this very moment, fill me with the Holy Spirit so that my faith is a blazing flame. Let me say with boldness again and again, Holy Spirit, you are welcomed here. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen, you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your night. Um, take care and God bless you. Bye-bye.